She's a little pumpkin, though. My God, super cute. We've just got married, and then inevitably the questions start literally a week later. You know, when are we going to hear the pitter part of tiny feet? Are you trying? Do you want children? Now that Charlie and I are married, we do want to try and have a family. You know, it's really funny because you spend your entire life trying not to become pregnant and suddenly everything changes. Settling down in our late 30s means that falling pregnant isn't something we can take for granted. Around three and a half million people in the UK have difficulty conceiving a child. And as I'm 38, I'm concerned that I might too. My main fear is realising too far down the line that it's actually not working. So I'm on a mission to find out more about fertility. It can be an issue for people of all ages, but these days, more women over 40 are having babies than those under 20. And that's possible because the science of fertility is keeping pace. So this is where the magic happens. So I'm going to investigate what pioneering science is doing to help. This is personalized medicine. I'll find out how cutting edge techniques are giving everyone new hope of having children. Essentially, this is where life is created in this room. Pretty much. Even transplants for those born without a womb. I think it's going to be a routine procedure in five to ten years. And how we can all keep our eggs and sperm healthy. Let's get some tests done. I'm even going to take the plunge to find out how fertile I am. Oh, wow. Today, we make a lot of choices. Choices about our career, our partner, and when we feel ready to have a baby. Shadow, the black Labrador. And often, that means starting a family later in life. At 38, I'm leaving it later than many, and I'm beginning to wonder about my biological clock. So where better to start than by asking my mother and sister about their experiences of having a family. So I've popped back to Jen's house in Cardiff for a chat and a slice of cake. Most people got married very early 20s, even at 23. People gave me funny looks as if, oh, she's not getting married until she's 23.